How do I look? Okay. Oh, gee, you know how to make a girl feel special. You're only going to band practice. Yeah, well, I'm trying out a new image, aren't I? Thought I'd go a bit boho. You are the singer in a pub band. Nobody cares about your image. Right, well, I don't know what time I'll be back because JD's taking me for a drink. Is he? Yeah. Rang me last night, said he needs to talk to me on the own. Does he now? I reckon he might be about to sack me. Sack you? Well, he just seemed really weird when I spoke to him. Wouldn't tell me what it was about. Of course he's not going to sack you. You're the only one in the band with any talent. They're lucky to have you. Are they? Yeah, look, you go and enjoy yourself and, uh, you look really hot, by the way. Thanks. Yeah, bye bye. Bye. So come on then. You've been acting funny all morning. You've obviously got something on your mind. No. How have things seen you and Steve? Cool, yeah. I know you two have had your ups and downs. <clears throat> Understatement of the year. You know you deserve better. Better than what? Steve's great. Voicing great fettle today. But. No buts. You're singing really well. Hmm. But there's this other chick you've seen, half my age, twice my cup size. <laughs> no, no way. You're perfect for the band. You're beautiful and sexy. Are you sacking me? No. Never. You're fantastic. <laughs> Jay, what are you doing? I thought it's what you wanted. <laughs> I don't know what gave you that idea. <sighs> Look, it, it's not that I don't like you, but, I, but I'm with Steve. The wonderful Steve? Yes. So wonderful he tries to fix you up with other blokes. What? This was his idea. Tell me you and him are on the rocks. If I fancied having a crack, then go ahead. No way. Steve wouldn't do that. Wouldn't he? Ask him. This is a joke. Please tell me this is a joke. Tell me exactly what Steve said. Every word of it. I'll have a pina colada with a pineapple chunk and a plastic ornament or else. Uh, can you get Blanche a small gin and tonic for me, please? Low life scheming. Well, what happened? Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about, Steve. You want to dump somebody, you just do it. You don't try and fix them up with somebody else. You've been talking to JD. Yeah. Well, I don't know what he said, oh. but whatever it is. Don't do this, Steve. Look, please don't forget. He has tried to come in between us in the past. I feel like some dodgy second-hand car. You just want shot of at any price. You should have just put a, a, a card up in Rita's window. Oh, no, look. Don't you touch me. Don't you dare touch me. I wish you'd tell me what's happened. Your little plan has backfired. JD told me everything. I don't know what you mean. I thought about it all the way home. It all makes sense. The way you've been behaving for the past God knows how long. Do you want us to finish? You're too spineless to go through with it. I'm right, aren't I? Steve, if you have got any respect for me, for us, then please try and be honest. It might be the first time, the only time in your life that you do it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I want us to finish. So, how long have you felt like this? A couple of months. I don't know exactly. You knew there was something wrong. I've done for months. So, uh... What did you... 
Did you just wake up one morning, look in the bed next to you and think, what's she doing here? I really like you. That's the problem. But you don't love me anymore. Well, you can't. Not on today's evidence. I felt like I had to keep trying to make it work. The stuff you've put up with, there's no one do what bail. Look, it hasn't worked out between us. There's no one to blame. I'm just not cut out for all this. Cut out for what? All this. All these happy families, you know? I mean, I thought I was, but I'm, but I'm not. Is there somebody else? No. Sweat to me, Steve. Look, there's nobody else involved. It's just you and me. Why did you not just tell me that you felt like this? Lots of reasons. Not having a spine being one of them. Well, it's difficult, you know. We work together. There's Amy, Ryan to consider. I just can't believe that you tried to palm me off on somebody else. I thought that if I could get you and him together, then we could all come out of this with some dignity. You what? Well, I mean, a word to me, mate, say she's yours if you want it. Oh, very dignified. But I genuinely thought that you and him made a lovely couple. I mean, there's a definite spark between you. Yeah, stop! <laughs> now, see, this is exactly why I've avoided telling you. Yeah. Look, it hasn't worked out between me and you. But we need to deal with this like grown-ups. For the kids' sake. Yeah. Listen, um, I've got some paperwork to do at the office. Can we talk about this later? Sorry about that bit of urgent business. I don't want to sound like I'm groveling. But is there no way back for us? I don't think so. You used to love me. You deserve better than me. What if I don't want better? What if I want you? <laughs> anyway, you're right. We have to try and deal with this like adults. Well, I hope so. Took some dragging out of you, but you've been straight with me now, and I, and I appreciate that. Well, I've always tried to be honest with you. Obviously, I, I'm going to be up for job. Yeah, I think it's uh, best if we make a clean break, yeah? Not sure it was such a good idea, Ross, working here in the first place. I think we both tried to make a go of it, but it just didn't work out. There's no one to blame, there's no regrets. And I just hope we can both still be friends. I uh, need a bit of time to sort out somewhere to live. Sorry, am I interrupting something? We're just... Splitting up. You might as well know, Steve. Save your tears, Michelle. He's not worth it. He's a lying, cheating scumbag. I said get out of me pub! What did you just say? Shut it. She deserves to know the truth. What did you just say? Remember you kept asking me where he was the night he went A1. You're a dead man. Hey, you hounded me, begged me to tell you what the big mystery was. Well, it was Becky. I said shut it. The same woman he's been seeing behind your back ever since. Becky. Becky. Sorry, Michelle. I, I hated lying to you. Ah. Very noble. What a gent. Hey, you had this coming. Oh, and it was your call, was it? Look, don't listen to a word this man says. Becky! I can corroborate Lloyd's story. Et tu, Blanche. In fact, Steve stood up and told a packed courtroom they were having an affair. A courtroom? It was all lies. Lies. 
from your lips. It's a long story. Oh, I think I've already got the gist. Thanks. You reneged on the deal. You were drinking all the profits. Hey, how can you stand there chatting to punters when poor Michelle's heartbroken? I can't face it. It's probably best if I just go. Uh, no way. I'm on ten years from drawing my pension. Oh, screwed up. The best thing to do now is face the music. No. The best thing to do now is me go away for a few days. Will you tell Michelle? No, no. You go talk to her. Go on. Now. There's no point wasting my energy because you are not worth it. I phoned Ryan, told him to get home. We'll be out of here tonight. Well, not now. There's no rush. I don't want to stop here a second longer than I have to. Why did you not just admit that you were having an affair? It's not an affair. So you haven't slept with her? Yeah, but only once or twice. Oh, well, then, if it's only once or twice, I might as well unpack. What I mean is, it's not a proper affair. I mean, we're not together right now. Did you sleep with her the night you went AWOL? Yes, but that was a mistake. Look, we tried to stay away from each other. Oh, bless. Look, I thought I wanted to be with you. I tried to make it work. And then she got in trouble with the police and... Well, that's what this whole court case has been about. I was her alibi. We were pretending to have an affair. But you were sleeping with her, Steve. You've admitted it. I stopped her from going to prison. Oh, and I bet she was so grateful. But it's not seedy or anything. We tried to fight it. Get out of my sight, Steve. I hate you. Oh, so it doesn't matter what I say, does it? All that tosh you gave me about how it wasn't feeling right and no one was to blame. Let's behave like adults. And all the time you're screwing somebody else. That's why you've been so foul to me for weeks on end. That's why you tried to palm me off on JD. Sounds pretty bad when you put it like that. You and Becky. My mate. Doing this to me. Couldn't get any worse. So, I'm losing a damn good barmaid as well now. You won't mind if I don't work any notice? Of course not. And I'll, I'll go out the back way. Don't much fancy dragging my cases through the bar with everybody gone. Hey, Steve's the one who should be hiding his head in shape. I took the risk when I moved in. I always knew it might come to this. Oh, where should I send your wages? Well, I'm only going three doors down. Maria said she'll put us up. Oh, I see. You thought I'd want to leave the country? I didn't know. I feel like it. It's not just my life Steve's wrecked, is it? I've got a 17-year-old lad in school. How to try and take it? <laughs> Don't know yet. I'm expecting him back any minute. I couldn't murder Steve. Well, I'll do it slowly. As painfully as possible. If there's anything I can do for you, references, anything. Will this take long? I want to go back to Bryony's. Um, Ryan, love, can you sit down? There's something I need to tell you. I'll leave you both to it. What's up? I feel like an illegal immigrant. I'm so sorry to land on you like this. Hey, don't be daft. Come here. Oh. Come on. Are you sure you don't need a hand with your bags? No, we're fine, aren't we, Ryan? Um, yeah, I just need to nip out. I won't be a sec. Well, I'll, I'll leave you to talk. 
Okay, well, you know where the room is. Yeah. I've put you some clean towels out. Thanks. Heard me bets. What if me cake and eat it and ended up with nothing? Michelle hates me. My mum hates me. Lloyd hates me. Listen, Ryan, mate. Stay away from my mum. What are you doing? And I think I can add him to the list of people who hate me now.